Okay, so I want to first discuss one thing before we get into the warm-up specifically. We are starting off with a forearm plank with an extra delicious posterior pelvic tilt. So what is a posterior pelvic tilt? Our pelvis. This would be somewhat neutral. Anterior is where we kind of stick the butt out and we get a bigger bit of flexion here, okay? Or extension, sorry. Posterior tilt is where we tuck. We are gonna be looking for this ugly kind of position. You're hiding your butt. It'll make you get cellulite. You look like an old man, kind of like walking around. That's the position that we're looking for. We want extra tightness. We want to exaggerate it for this first position. So it's a 45 second plank hold with an extra strong posterior pelvic tilt, okay? All right, so come on down. This is just kind of all activation techniques here in the beginning. We're on our forearms. We're taking off in three, in two, and here we go. So if we're in a neutral position, we now want to exaggerate that posterior pelvic tilt. Now, one thing we want to avoid is sending the hips straight up into, say, dolphin, right? We still want to keep the hips anchored, but you should almost feel as if you're rounding a little bit more through the upper back in this position specifically. Beautiful. Push strong down into the ground with the elbows. Pull the pelvic floor up towards the rib cage. Beautiful. You've got 15 seconds. Really strengthen your quads. Breathe. You've got 10. Excellent. You've got seven, six. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. We're going to pull out a step, and the step is going to be right in front of us. Okay. So pull that step over. Should have given you a little bit more of a warning, but there you go. It's all, it's all nearby. All right. Feet are right on the edge. Okay. So. We have 40, uh, 45 seconds of lifting up and down. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the clock. Take that up in three, in two, here we go. So you're squeezing and lifting and then lowering back down. We are not going into an overextension. You can play around with the position of your feet, meaning I like my heels on the surface, some people like midsole. So play around. Beautiful. Squeeze and tuck the pelvis as you lift. We want as much posterior tilt as we can. Good. Very, very good. Stay with it. Squeeze and lift. Nice work. Pretend that a band is right above your knees. So a slight press out on that band. Excellent work. You have four, three. We're staying lifted and holding in two and one. Stay lifted, holding at the top. Tuck the pelvis, beautiful work. I, I, in this instance right now, I'm feeling a lot of hamstrings and I think it's because of where my heels are. So I'm just gonna make a slight adjustment so I can put it back into my glutes. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna pulse up and down. We'll be here for 20 pulses. In five, three, two, lower and squeeze. One, for two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, one. Beautiful work. We're going to transition into a side plank. Maybe slide your object out to the side. Coming up in three, in two, and one. So I'm going to show you first, side supported. If you know side plank, you can go to whatever side plank works for you. But I have been finding that with some clients, this position allows them to feel a little bit more engaged through that base oblique. They're not worried so much about balance. They're not worried about stacking as much. It's a little bit easier, but therefore we can connect to that base oblique a little bit more. You're here for 20 more seconds. Each exhale, I want you to think of wrapping your core. <sighs> Conscious movement. You've got about 10 seconds. Squeeze your inner thighs. You're here for five, for four, three, two. 
Let's switch it on over, other side. Taking off in five seconds. Pushing on your exhale, coming up, here we go. We are stacked, whether the feet are split, stacked, you're on your knee, whatever position, knees are stacked, hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. You're squeezing your inner thighs. You have 30 seconds left right here. We're gonna go into a beast hold for 45 seconds. We're gonna pretend on this first round here that we've got a band above our knees. When we finish this round, we're gonna go ahead and pull a band out, just so we have it accessible, and we're gonna be using it through all of these movements again. Eight, hips are stacked, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. So come into a quadruped position. Toes are gonna to be turned under. Knees are right underneath your hips. I want a flat back, shoulders pushing strong. Three, two, here we go. So lift. Knees hover. So for 45 seconds, we're hovering. If you look down at your knees, they are about an inch or an inch and a half off the floor. You're actively squeezing the shoulder blades down the back. Beautiful. Elbow pits are rotating out in front of you. Core feels wrapped. You've got about 20 <laughs> seconds left. Very, very good. You've got 15 seconds. You've got 10. We'll be grabbing that band in five, four, three, two, and one. So I'm just gonna slip my band on so that it's there and ready for me. We're going back to that forearm plank position, taking off in three, in two, and one. 45 seconds with extra posterior pelvic tilt. You've got a band on. That can help you feel a little bit more connected because you've got a little pressure pressing out on that band. Rotating the inner thighs up towards the ceiling. Isometric hold. Beautiful work. 25 seconds. Squeezing and lifting. Extra posterior tilt. Shortening the distance between lower ribs and your hip bones. I do not want a flat back. I want your back rounded. Come on. There we go. 10. Beautiful work, stay with it, you've got five. Getting ready for our feet elevated bridge in two and one. All right, bring that step back out. 45 seconds, lifting up and down, taking off in three, two, and here we go. So with the band, press the knees out. If you don't have the band on yet, please put it on. Smooth, controlled lifts. No overextension. We've got 30 seconds left right here. Squeeze and lift. Posterior pelvic tilt. Nice work. Beautiful, 20 seconds. Now, I just pushed my object away. <laughs> that means that I'm not pushing down correctly. So make sure you're pushing those feet directly down and not out in a way. We've got four, coming to a hold in three, two, and one. We're holding at the top. About 20 seconds right here, spread the band, and we will pulse. Woo! 10 more seconds. Spread the band, we're getting ready to pulse in three, in two, here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I was laughing because I'm shaking. <laughs> All right, side plank. I keep the band on. Don't even take it off. Getting ready to go in three, in two, and here we go. So I went from a kneeling position to a full stack position. So two opposite ends of the spectrum. You gotta listen to your body and do what feels right for you and your body on this given day. If we always do this position, it might be worthwhile to try in a different position. See how your body shifts. You've got about 20 seconds left. Breathe. 
15 seconds. 10 more seconds. You've got it. Really connect mentally to your core. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to transition on over. Going in about six seconds. Squeezing and lifting in three, two. Here we are. We're up. Joints are stacked. 40 seconds remain. Base shoulder should feel super, super strong. If it's not feeling strong, please put the knee down. 25 seconds. Hips are stacked. Shoulders stacked. 20. Breathing. You've got it. Come on. You've got it. Push tall, push tall. Squeeze your cheeks. You've got eight seconds left. We'll come into that beast hold. A little different this time with the band. Three, two, and one. So with the band, I want you to be pushing constantly out on the band. We're taking off in four, three, two, here we go. Exhale, lift, you're braced. So there's that constant pressure out. Very good. Your back is as flat as can be. Your head is neutral. Hug the shoulders down your back. Really connect to your pelvic floor. Lift it up towards your ribcage. So, so good. You've got about 20 seconds left. A little extra pressure out on the band. 15. We will go through all of this one more time. Returning back to our forearm plank with extra posterior tilt. In seven. Beautiful work. Come on, we have four. Three, two, three. One, whoo, that changes the beast with the band. <laughs> All right, extra posterior tilt. In four, last time. Three, two, here we go. Scoop and lift. Extra posterior tilt, I cannot stress that enough. It'll make your normal plank stronger. <sighs> Tuck your butt, think of rounding upper back. There you go, good job. We wanna imagine that we're shortening the distance between our lower ribs and our hip bones. Breathe. We've got this, come on. 20 seconds remain. Beautiful, keep breathing. Excellent. We have 10. Staying strong, come on. Beautiful work. We have five, four, three, two, one. Woo. All right, set your box up box, chair, whatever it is. Taking off in four, in three, two, one. Here we go, rising up, controlling it back down. Breathe, really connect to your glutes. Excellent work, squeeze and lift. I think I need to come in a little closer. There we go. I was a little too far out, so I was feeling quite a bit of hamstring. Scooting in made a difference for me. Less than 15 seconds. We'll have a 20 second hold, and then 20 pulses. In three, two, lift to the top, we hold. Man, this hold never feels good. <laughs> <laughs> I like to keep moving. 10 seconds. Press the band out. Woo! We're going to pulse in five, four, three, two. Here we go. A little lower and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, ugh, one. Man, okay, that was brutal. Side plank, taking off in. Here, three, two, here we go. Just for one, I'm showcasing a different plank. Oops, there goes our timer. We're gonna pretend 
the timer did not just stop. We've got about, let's say 25 seconds left. Squeeze, breathing. Very, very good. 15. Nice work, squeeze and lift for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, good, four, come on, three, two, and one. Let's scoot on over, other side. Taking off in five, four, three, two, here we go. Stacked, confident, strong. Beautiful. Pushing tall. 25 seconds. Push through the mental chatter. Find your breath. Find your core. Find your shoulders. Squeeze your inner thighs. You've got 10 more seconds. You're doing great. We just have to go through that beast hold. You have five, four, three, two, and one. All right, 10 seconds to get ready. All right, taking off in five. In four, three, two, we lift. Everything is braced. Glutes are on. Knees just hover. Spread the band. Very, very good. Pelvic floor has lifted. It stays lifted. You've got about 27 seconds left. Could you push a little taller by pushing firmer into the ground with both your toes and your palms? 20 seconds. Each exhale, re-engage the core just a little tighter. Never let it loosen, just re-engage more and more. Come on. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Done with the clock. That was great. So I'm going to be switching to my lighter hip sling. Still using the hip sling. If a hip sling is too much, this can all be done without one. So all of this can be done without a band. It can also be done with a mini band. We are gonna get pretty uncomfortable. It's that really deep, kind of nasty burn within your hips. So again, I'm using the lightest hip sling that I have. It's the stretchiest, okay? You're gonna just jump in with me. Everything's pretty slow, so I don't need to explain it beforehand. Feet are stacked, knees are stacked. Knees are in front of your body, okay? You're supported on your elbow. From here, squeeze your feet together. Do not let them separate. Okay, we exhale, go ahead and lift. We have one. As big as you can for two. Lift open for three. Really try to rip that band. Open for four. Press your feet together. Open for five. Six. Seven. Exhale, lift. Eight. Don't let the band pull you down. Nine. Squeeze and lift. Ten. Squeeze and lift. One more. We're going to hold for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. Lower it down with control. Other side. Perfect. Set yourself up. Knees are in front of the body. Pushing tall through your shoulders. Should be feeling it kind of right in this area. Okay? Here we go, exhale and lift. One, two, belly stays tight. We lift for three, press the feet together, that does help. Lift for four, five, very good, there we go, come on. Six, slow and controlled lift, slow and controlled lower, seven. Squeeze and lift, eight, good job. Here we go, up, 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 nine. Squeeze and lift, 10, lift, good, one more. We're gonna squeeze and hold for 10, 
something to hold on to. Again, follow along with me. I'm going to move this to this angle. So, external rotation. So, I already spread the band, right? My reminder, this is external rotation. This is what your knees should look like the entire time. Always pointing out. That alone is going to be magic. So, you're in a hip hinge because you're touching your object. If you're not touching an object, your hands can be on your hips. Knees are turned out. Okay, get ready, Sam. 20 reps, follow along. We step this back leg out, and then step it back in, that's one. Step it out, barely put, don't put any weight on it really. Tap it out, I should be saying. Three, four. External rotation remains the whole entire time. Five, squeeze it up, six, Seven, eight, we have 20 reps, nine, really spread the band, come on, press it out, 10, we have 10 more, here we go, 10, Woo! there's that burn, nine, come on, external rotation, don't let those knees tip in, eight, seven, I'm struggling, <laughs> six, Woo! five, Press it out for four. Come on. For three. Press it out for two. And one. Just a front view for you. This is your start position. You're pressing way, way out and back. Out and back. Maintaining external rotation, not letting that tip in. Okay? All right, my ass needs a break. Switch over to the other side. Hip hinge, barely any weight on your object. External rotation, this side is going to fatigue fast, just so you know. Here we go. Press it out one. Press it out at that diagonal for two. Press it out for three. Four. Belly stays tight. Five. No weight goes on that back foot, it's just a toe tap. For seven. There you go. Eight, external rotation. Come on, nine. Woo! 10, we have 10 more. Step for 10. You've got it, step for nine. Eight, slow and control, seven. Good, six, you got it, come on. For five, four, for three, for two, and one. Holy shit. Woo, that feels spicy. All right, that can get out of the way. Leave the band on, we don't need to take it off. Come on down to your forearms. What we're gonna do is I want you to think you're gonna be in a flat plank, forearm plank, if that's okay with you, forearm plank. You're gonna lift your hips two inches, come back to a perfect plank. Lift two inches, come back. So what it'll look like is if this is our normal one, we're gonna go to the one we did in warm up. We're gonna come back to normal, warm up, okay? We have 12 of those. I'm calling those just hip lifts. You're lifting your hips. Pretend there's daggers coming at your hips. You gotta duck away. We have 12 of them. Can be done up on the palms. I'm gonna demo on my forearms. Normal plank position, take an inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Two. Three, tuck the chin. Four. Five. Six. Seven, exhale up. Eight. 
nine. Lift. Good. Two more. One more. Come on down. Woo. That was fun. I will never tell you to tuck, tuck your chin, like in push-ups or anything, but in that, I want you to tuck your chin because it's a chain reaction. Your spine will round, and that's what we're seeking. Okay. Side-lying clam. We start over from the top. We have two more rounds. If you wanted to, you could bring this. Uh, I just did it wrong. Uh, you could lift the bottom hip off the floor. I am not doing that today. It is all good, though, if that's where you want to take it. All right. Sitting up tall. We open. One. Open for two. Three. Very good. Don't let the band pull you down. You control it. For five. There you go. Much better, Melissa. Good. Six. Seven. Pure force from your glutes. Eight. Squeeze and lift. Separate that band. Nine. Come on. Ten. We have two more. We're going to do that ten second hold. Here we are. Get to the top and hold for ten. Nine. Eight. Feel it with your fingers. Is it on? Is it firm? We have five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Coincidentally, it's actually more here that I just felt that as opposed to here. When we do the sideline stuff that we normally do, we will feel it more here. This is actually a little bit deeper. Okay. Ready? Here we go. We open. Exhale. One. Open. Two. Here we are. Three. Open it up. Four. Squeeze and lift. Four stays tight. Five. Six. Seven. Sometimes it's so defeating because you're not really opening the band much. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Exhale, lift. Come on. Exhale, lift. Hold. Ten. Good. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, good, three, two, one, lower it down. Okay, we've got the dreaded cha cha. <laughs> I'm laughing because it was torture. It was complete torture. I do want to make one suggestion. You can try the band up a little higher, it will give you a little bit more range of motion. I'm going to explore it just to see how it feels. Okay, 20 reps, say halfway through, you don't like it, you can slide it back down. Okay, we're in our hip hinge, we've got our external rotation, toes are glued to the floor, belly is tight, here we go, step it out and back, one, two, three, it's an abduction with a bit of hip extension, four, five, open wide, six, Good, seven, eight, just tapping that toe, you got it. Good, nine, 10, 10 more for 10. Excellent, this position is a little bit easier for sure, but I'm still getting a good burn. Good, for seven, for six, for five, so good, come on, good. Last three, two, and one. Switch it on over. We'll try to get right into it. All right, hip hinge, external rotation. Here we go, we tap it up and out. One, two, open three, four. Nice work, core stays tight, five, Six, open, spread, seven, eight, Woo. nine, supporting leg is burning, ten, we have ten more, here we go, for ten, for nine, eight, beautiful, seven, come on, we have six, we have five, four, Three, two, one. Oh, 
think next time I'm going to go back down a little bit lower. But again, always good to explore. Still for sure, got some work done in there. All right, forearm plank lifts, hip lifts. Come to your plank position, take an inhale. Remember, tuck your chin, inhale, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, one more, so good, all right, last time, sideline planks, this one, again, I'm going to explore just a little higher up, okay, I feel so defeated when I can't open the band. All right, here we go. One. Oh my God, that range of motion is so much better. Two. <laughs> Open for three. Relax your shoulders. Four. Five. Squeeze and open. Good. Seven. Eight. Core stays active. Nine. Neck is relaxed. Ten. Two more. Open up. One more. We hold for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Good. Five. Feel it out. Four. Three. Two. Close it slowly. Switch sides. All right. Let's go. We open up. We have one. Two, three, very good, four, squeeze and open, good, five, six, seven, nice work, eight, nine, ten, two more, you got it, squeeze open, come on, hold it up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, belly is pulled in, three, two, one, oh, I was losing it there at the end, okay, <clears throat> cha-cha, we're going to try a little lower, if you go below the knees, you're a different animal, that's got to be really, really, really intense, <laughs> all right, hip hinge, external rotation, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. Come on. Eight. Spread that band as much as you can. Protect your spine. Keep the core braced. Beautiful. We have ten more super strong reps. Here we go. Gently tapping that foot. We have nine. Spread the band all the way so that leg gets straight. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Switch sides. All right. Here we go. External rotation, core is braced, hip hinge, and we tap it up. One, two, three, four. Remember, it's at a diagonal to the back. Six. Core stays tight. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh my goodness. Ten, ten more. We have ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Oh, well, one. All right, that can go up, off to the side. Hip lifts. 
Almost done with this set. We'll get a sip of water after this. 12 really strong reps. We're in our plank. Take a breath. Exhale, lift. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Beautiful work. Here we go. Last three. Two. One. Woo. All right. Let's grab some water. We are going to need a mini band, a weight, preferably something like whatever, it doesn't really matter, a weight, and then you do need to step. We are going to start with just the step. I feel like my step is a little too big, but we'll see. Sometimes there is something, such a thing as too big. If you're feeling it in the wrong spots, it's too big. So I'm gonna play around with this, but we're gonna do single leg glute bridge, 12 on one side, 12 on the other. You do not need to lift very high, okay? As long, excuse me, as long as you're feeling your glute engage, you've lifted high enough. After that, we're gonna go into banded hip extension in a quadruped position. That's where we'll be using a mini band. If you don't have one, it's okay. We'll then go into a little bit of core work. So come onto your back with your step. One foot on the step. Other foot can be extended or just resting, but we're really trying to not use it. 12 lifts, we're gonna post your pelvic tilt and lift. We have one, lift for two, three, four, good, five, posterior pelvic tilt, good, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, squeeze and lift, very good, let's switch it out, all right, here we go, we posterior pelvic tilt, that's super important, one, Two, three, four, five, nice work, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, squeeze and lift, good, one more, very good, slide the box out of the way. In a quadruped position. I'm going to pad my knee. I'm an old lady. All right. So it's always a little hard to get into this one. So what? It's hard to make it. It is just around the arch of your feet. Just around the arch, not the ankles. Around the arch. All right. We're going to start with the left toes glued to the floor, and we're going to be extending the right leg. Okay. So. Firmly grip the floor. Really plant the left knee and toes down into the ground. You're gonna brace, exhale, and extend. One, bring it in, extend for two, three, four, five, six, core is so active. Even though we're focusing on that posterior chain. Eight, hips are square. Nine, we're gonna pulse at 12. Here's 10, very good, exhale press. One more, hold it out, and now pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Smooth transition over to the other side. We exhale press, one, two, it's not about the height, three. Keep the back flat, four, five, six, nice 
work. Come on. Squeeze and lift. Seven. Beautiful. Flex the toes. Eight. Press it out. Nine. Ten. Two more. Super strong. Come on. Here we go. We're going to pulse. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Woo! That's a good little burn. All right. We are on our back with a weight. The weight is going to be overhead. Doesn't need to be anything too crazy. Preferably of some sustenance though. We're going to do 20 leg extensions while in an active, basically an active crunch hold. Okay? So, come onto your back. Weight is going to start up. Okay? Take an exhale and try to lift shoulders off the floor. So that's where you're holding. Bring the knees up. Fold the bone. Perfect. Okay, one at a time. Extend. Pull back. One. Two. Three. Four. Don't let those shoulder blades come down. Six. Seven. Eight. Lift the shoulder blades. Come on. Nine. Ten. Ten more. For ten. Nine. You got it. Come on. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo. All right. Round one. Done. We've got two more. I'm going to switch out my box. I didn't really like it for myself. Um, so I have a ball. You could use a yoga block if your box is too big. I'm going to try just a ball. Feel it out. A weight works pillow. All right. So foot is set and other legs up. Here we go. We lift one and lift two, three, four, five, six, posterior pelvic tilt, seven, eight, beautiful work. Hide the ribs. We have nine, ten, two more. One more. Very good. Switch it out. Other leg is up. Here we go. Squeeze and lift. One. Two. Three. Four. Very good. Posterior pump So Five. Six. Seven. You've got it. Come on. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo. Good job. Hip extension. Whew. All right. Mini band around the arch of your feet. Left knee is planted. We'll be extending with the right side first. We'll take off in five. In three. In two. Here we go. One. Powerful extension. For two. Three. Four. Five. Exhale. Extend. Six. Seven. Use your glute. Cut on eight. Nine. Ten. Two more, we'll pulse. Beautiful, one more. And we pulse for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Transitioning right on over to the other side. Here we go. Extend. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, 
six. Nice work. Here we go. Seven. Core is braced. Back is flat. No movement of your spine. Here's nine. Almost there. Come on. Ten. Last two. One more. And we pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Whew. Let's just take a quick peek at the time. Ooh, we on that time crunch. That's all right. We got a burger to finish with. All right. I'm going to try my box again. I didn't love the ball. All right. First leg. We take off in three. In two. Here we go. We lift. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Good. One more. Very good. I think my box is still too high. That's okay. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew, okay. Ah, I missed something, didn't I? <laughs> Let's make up for it right now. It's okay. These things happen. All right, grab your weight. We'll make up for it. We're all human. All right, start with the feet flat, weight overhead. Exhale, lift the shoulders, bring the legs up. Here we go. One, two, three. Get those shoulder blades off the floor. Four, five. Six, seven, very good. Come on, eight, nine, ten. We have ten. Lift a little higher. Nine. Come on, you're so strong. Eight. You got this. Come on. Straight legs, Caitlin. Come on. For six. For five. Four. Lift, lift, lift. Come on. Three. Two. One. <laughs> Sorry for forgetting that. It's okay. My dog is going crazy. I don't know if you hear her. All right, band to hip extension. We're going to kind of move a little bit faster through this set. Just a little. Not too, too bad. I want strong, powerful extensions as you extend your leg. Okay? Left knee, left foot are planted. Extend the right. Here we go. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Try not to turn the foot out. That will be a different exercise for a different day. Seven, toes face the ground. Eight, nine, come on. Ten, two more. Squeeze and press. One more, and we pulse. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Other side, exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful work. Here we go. Nine. Three more. Excellent. Two more. This one. Left pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Whew. On our back, we'll get in another thing of leg extensions. Our burner. 
is going to be modified a little bit, but it's still going to be great. Okay. Last time on the leg extensions in an active core position. Weight is up. Lift the shoulders. Bring the knees up. Here we go. We have one. All control. Two. Core does not bulge out as you extend the leg. It's really hard for five, six, lift those shoulders, come on, seven, eight, nine, come on, ten, we have ten more, here we go, for ten, for nine, eight, lift, 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 seven, six, five, come on, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, burner. Y'all ready? I don't think we need a weight. You could grab a weight if you felt so compelled, but I honestly think we'll, we'll be okay. You have your box. Hopefully mine doesn't slide around. All right, pat it for your shoulders if you need to. I'm again using my smaller band, uh, sorry, lighter, lighter band, putting it above the knees. We're gonna be in a constant glute bridge, sorry, like hip thrust, hip thrust motion. We're gonna be working for about uh, three minutes, okay? Three minutes, we're gonna let this sucker burn. So come into this position. Hips can start low. I want you to focus on the biggest, baddest posterior pelvic tilt of your life, all right? So we're gonna drip, drop down and squeeze. One, press the band up for two, three. Really squeeze and tuck, four, five, six. Squeeze your cheeks together, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, squeeze and lift for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay lifted, we hold, big posterior pelvic tilt, spread the band out, if you need to, you can cradle your head, to give your neck a little bit of support. 10 more seconds. We are gonna pulse by spreading just the knees out. Actually, yeah, let's stick with it. In three, two, spread the knees out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> hold, 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 scoop your pelvis. Scoop it, scoop it, scoop it. <laughs> For 10, nine, eight, spread the band. Six, five, four, three, two, sit on down on the floor. <laughs> Support yourself so you have a straight spine. We ain't done yet. Spread the band. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, four, stays active, nine, ten, we have ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, out as wide as you can, 20 seconds right here, spine is tall, belly is pulled in, spread it, try to rip that band, actively spread, come on, even further, further, come on. You got it. Don't give up. Ten. I know it's sinking in. Press it back out. Eight, seven, six, five, four. We're on our back next. Three, two, one. All the way down on your back. Final piece. We're almost there. <clears throat> Glute bridge. Scoop and lift. One, two, three. Spread the band. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, 
nine, hold, just 10, we're holding for 10. We'll do tiny little pulses up and down for 10 reps and we wrap, three, two, lower down and up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, nine, 10. Oh, take the band off. Give your knees a little pull into your chest, rock side to side. Woohoo! Very, very good. I am going to demo a seated figure four. If you prefer pigeon, you can, of course, go to pigeon. Sitting up tall, I'm going to take my right ankle and cross it over my left knee. Yeah, that's tight. <laughs> that is very tight. Make sure the Toes are flexed and pulled back. You're sitting up nice and tall. Breathing. Such good work today. So again, just a reminder, all of those things could be done, like any of those groupings, could be done on their own before a leg or glute-based strength training workout. Those are great activation drills. We're gonna switch sides. Oh, hi, Finn. Hi, what are you doing? Sit up tall, flex your toes. You came to say hi? Oh, hi. Very good. Let's go ahead, unwrap. Bring ourselves to what I like to call a Buddha squat, which is really Malasana or frog. So toes can be slightly turned out and you're sitting way down, hips in between your legs. I like to use my elbows, elbows to press my knees out to the side. Try to sit up nice and tall with your spine. This will be the final stretch that we go through. Real quick, hands to the floor. Send the hips way, way up. Let the head be heavy. Maybe a little side to side sway. Lengthening out the hamstrings and your spine. Bend the knees slowly. Roll on up. Whew. Somebody once said, smack it if you got it. No, they said smack it if it's there. But love. But love. 